All right, I'm gonna show you the bus engine and see if we can identify a few things. All right, uh, when you look down in there, first thing we're gonna see is, get the light on so I can see properly, uh, what looks like carburetor missing an air filter. All right, there's the uh, throttle. Looks like it's connected okay. Uh, cable's a little slack. Uh, by the way, there's there's this thing here. This is some kind of a tube that's been sealed with a bolt here coming out of the top of the gas tank. Um, looking at this side of the carburetor, there's a fuel line coming into the side there. Um, there is an a wire connected to this side of the, or the rear of the carburetor, towards the rear of the car at least. Uh, I guess that's maybe uh, to cut off, electronic cut off of some kind. Uh, there's another tube beneath, let me put my finger on it, hold on. It's another tube going into the firewall. I'm going to try to get that down here. That down here that all that also goes into the carburetor down here. Okay, so there's two fuel lines to the carburetor. Okay, now what else do we got in here? Uh, distributor. There's a distributor there. Uh, a switch, probably the oil pressure switch here. The wire on the oil pressure switch is connected, but I'm not sure if it goes to anything. It's got um, it's got electric tape on it. It goes back towards the rear of the bus. Um, coil looks like it's attached on the outside there. The distributor is attached to four spark plugs which appear for the most part they appear to be well three of them appear to be present um, there's one that's present and not attached there is one here that is missing okay and I have a question about number two is missing I have a question about uh, first of all I can't really see in there I can't see in to see if it's present I can't I can feel in there and I can feel that there's nothing in there um, hey I'm making a video to show to somebody. Okay, so I can feel in there and see that there's n uh, feel that there's no spark plug. Uh, I have a question about how I would get access to this spark plugs. There's a, a housing on top of them, which kind of makes it difficult to to work with that. Um, anyway, here's the spark plug cable on this side up here. We've got presumably the fan motor. All right. Is there anything else back here I wanted to show you? Uh, can you confirm what this device is here? It's got a cut tube on the end of it. Looks like maybe an oil cooler or maybe it's part of their recapture system for uh, emissions. Okay, now back out here uh, you've got the coil it's connected relatively new wires I would I think um, green wire here yellow wire going up to the carburetor uh, two additional wires here this one probably this thick black or black wire I think is coming from the ignition switch I don't know where this wire is coming from. I checked the. Uh, I'll have to check the, the manual on that one. Um, over on this side, this fuse holder probably, I'm guessing, is the one that would be connected to backup or reverse lights. Although, again, I don't know about that. This wire here, this wire coming across the engine, 
one of which has a wire from the ignition coil, then there's another green wire, and this goes out. I don't know where that wire goes. It's going to the other side of the distributor cap. Okay. Um, belts are in place. There's oil in the... It has oil in it, and it's not too dirty. It may have been cleaned. Um, these hoses here, the fan hoses are are unattached. All right, and perhaps you could also tell me what what this bar is here, and that's about it for now. I'd like to be able to get this thing started somehow.